gon' step up for me Make sure my fans stay cause my daughter got it and blessings everyone greetings and salutations yes i'm back for another video another must see video you all thank you thank you thank you for all my new subscribers all my old subscribers let us blow up to ten thousand. yes let us blow let us blow let us blow on up to ten thousand. okay well i need to talk about cynthia bailey of the real housewives of atlanta y'all what in the world is she calling herself speaking on the ladies of the Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise? Yes, she's speaking on with uh, U.S. Weekly, giving them a little interview here and there. Yes, she's out there dropping tea on none other than B, Kenya Moore. Kenya Moore don't need nobody talking for her. Not in this world, not in this lifetime. She team twirl. She made up the name team twirl. Okay, I call her tornado twirl because every time she turn around, she's doing something where it's tearing up somebody's life. If it's not even her own, she just tearing up shit sometimes. Just running a rabbit around the whole junction of the lantern, tearing up stuff. But anyway, sometimes it's a good tear up, sometimes it's a bad tear up, sometimes it's just subjective. All right, so let's get on into this article. Yeah, Cynthia Baylor over there. Talking with uh, Emily Longretti. Yes, Emily Longretti. She's a um, journalist, a columnist, columnist, uh, columnist, that's it, over there at U.S. Weekly. Bamming out all of those salacious stories. And evidently, she got an exclusive with Cynthia Bailey. And Cynthia Blade, Bailey is dropping dime out there on Kenya Moore. Okay, she titles her article as Cynthia Bailey says, Kenya Moore is still very much in love with a strange husband, Mark Daly. Well, hell, Cynthia, shouldn't that be Kenya sitting up there talking about her? Why are you going up there talking about what you may or may not know, okay? Of course, we can just assume things we don't actually know unless you're trying to tell us that uh, Kenya Moore still loves her husband and she want him back. <laughs> I'm like, well, maybe Mark don't want her back. Could that be it? Could that be it? Stop playing Cupid's arrow running around now, uh, Cupid himself. We don't want you throwing darts because we still, or I am, still questioning your capability of picking good men out there, okay? Can we go there first? Do you want to start with you? How they say take the plank out your own eye before you sitting up there trying to throw something at somebody else, Okay. So I don't really need you speaking on Kenya more, Cynthia. Sit your little queen self down, and, and, and when we call for you, that's when you show up and show out. Or when we have questions about how you're feeling about Mike Hill and some of his indiscretions, I'm hopefully we uh, will find out on this new season because brother ain't perfect, ain't nobody perfect. So go on and drop the tea on your own relationship and what you're feeling, okay? Because one of these little clips I saw, you call yourself running from a little argument or discussion, y'all will have it. I don't know if you're gonna get upside his head or you were crying and didn't want him to see the weakness of you. I don't know which one it was. But let's get on into this story, y'all. Let's get on into the story because I'm confused and I'm really ready to see what the gills are in this little article that Emily put out. Okay? But we, it goes in to say, are Kenya Moore and Mark Daly over for good? Cynthia Bailey doesn't think so. In the latest issue of U.S. Weekly, the Real Housewives of Atlanta star, let's going to say co-star, opened up exclusively about their relationship. Now, how she going to, they're going to say, how you going to know about the tea, the coffee, the juice, the cocoa, and then you ain't trying to tell us. All right, girl. Anyway, you know you're supposed to tell us before you tell the media. But anyway, moving on. It says, this is her first marriage. I think she went into it for all the right reasons. She is still very much in love with her husband. Who knows? Okay, maybe they will still work it out in the end. Bailey 52 said ahead of the season 12 premiere, I think they both deserve to be happy whether they're together or not. And I'm not that kind of mom or parent that thinks that you have to be with the father of your child to be able to be good parents to your children. I personally don't think that because you have a child with somebody is the only reason to stay with that person. Now, okay, Cynthia, you're dropping good wisdom nuggets there. No, you don't. Even when you become pregnant, you don't have to have a shot going away and say, oh, you must marry that person or that man must marry you because you're carrying his uh, unborn child or uh, your fetus. 
uh, you all's fetus in your stomach. No, that's not a good reason. You should love that person. You should love them to the day you die. I mean, that's what you really are saying when you go up there and take those vows at that altar or in front of that uh, judge or punished judge that's marrying you all. Or minister, however you thought it to be when you went up there and said, I want to be with this man. Or he said, I want to be with this woman. Y'all join together and hold a matrimony. However, the platform was set and staged, okay? Uh, it just is what it is, all right? But see, um, your title, the title of this is getting to be a little disturbing because you're talking about serving up being parents to kids. You ain't talking about being married, okay? So I, I'm confused, but let me read on. Maybe some clarity will come in. All right. It says every real housewives couples that have filed for divorce. Okay, that's something else. It says more 48 and daily 49 who married in June 17th, welcome daughter Brooklyn in November 18th of, uh, well, I'm sorry, November 2018. The duo announced they were separating in September 2019. Okay. And I'm like, then one of them knew something was going to be breaking up. I'm sure they didn't wake up that next morning after the Tamara Hall show and say, I don't want to be with you. So I'm like, is this like a PR stunt? Is this a stage intervention or a separation? Or is it a dissolvement of marriage? I'm kind of confused now. Because Kenya's making all these moves, talking about seeing herself conquering the world with her baby girl, Brooklyn, and, and doing all this hell, not hell, Mary, but basically saying she's a woman, she's royal, and she can be without and don't have to be with a man. And she definitely don't have to be with her soon-to-be ex-husband, okay? She's throwing all these, casting these lines out here like she finna sail into the sunset and her and Brooklyn against the world is that third. Now, you come around here talking about she breaking uh, other peace treaties uh, behind the scenes, talking about she want to get back with Ma if Ma is willing to get back with her. That would have seemed like Ma don't want her. Okay, ain't got no doubt about what she feel. A lot of women feel they should be with their exes, ex-boyfriend, ex-lover, ex-husband, whatever. But it depends on how did they treat you. Are you going to be able to fully trust them? These are the things you have to ask yourself before you go back into that love feeling, thinking everything going to be milking, uh, milk and cream and, and making that good coffee or that cake is going to be good when you put the icing on it. Now, what drove you from that person from the beginning and how did that person treat you while you were in that situation? OK, sometimes it's, it's good to have peace of mind. You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing you can count on is having that peace of mind. And that means you can't be with that mind, that man to have some peace. Then you need to be peace be still. <laughs> OK, and I'm talking about walking away from that man. All right. But anyway, if you can save your marriage, if it was all about, you know, finances and and, and, and just people being greedy out there and, and this, that, and the third. That's cool. That could be worked on. But if you're talking about somebody is a habitual liar, a habitual cheater, or uh, domestic violence is in the next song, well, uh, 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 no, that ain't worth your peace of mind or your stability, okay? Because if your mental ain't working, you can forget about the rest of your other parts of your body working. Mental has to be on deck first before the other parts of your body can go and be go forth and be great. All right, but that's not in the article. Let's get back in the article. You know, I do my sidebars when I get upset when people talking stupid shit and I can't understand where they're coming from. Okay, but anyway, let's go back. Okay, let's go back. It says, due to recent and ongoing circumstances, I can no longer continue in this marriage. Okay, that's a refurbished mess that she's been given all along because they're trying to revamp all these stories and ain't too much they can keep giving us but uh recycled material and ain't no sense of me going back all over that because you were telling me cynthia that she was getting back with mark i think you're trying to get back with more but you're giving me all this or this emily this reporter and journalist giving me uh refurbished mess uh -uh, i want something brand new to sink my teeth into okay let's go on and see what we can find Okay, I love that Kenya's back. Okay, I love that Kenya's back. I've always thought Kenya was great for the show. She just gets in there. She stirs the pot. She's my friend. She's an amazing. She's in an amazing place. See, now you're contradicting yourself. I don't know what the hell is going on with Cynthia. First, you're saying she ain't happy. First, you're saying she is happy. First, you're saying uh, you, you got to be in a good space to be a parent, but you don't have to be married to that parent. Uh, to have good parenting skills. And, and now you're going, I don't understand that you're doing too much of this uh, comedy. This journalist is doing too much. But anyway, going back, that was my sidebar. 
uh, Brooklyn, Brooklyn is amazing. I'm in an amazing place. And she's saying that about Kenya. I can't wait for the fans to fall in love with her. Kenya Moore has the happiest baby I think I've ever seen in my life. With, uh, what's your name? Cynthia, keep living. It's a lot of more babies just out there like Brooklyn. They have a pleasant, plump, pleasing personality. She is not the only uh, little person out there showing and telling out there. Come on, girl. Expand your mind, Cynthia. Expand your mind, baby. You're caught up in Miss Brooklyn. All right, because I am... Um, can we say the same thing about Portia's baby? She, she, Portia baby just look like she ain't gonna take no shit from nobody, okay? She'll smile when she wants to smile. She'll play when she wants to play. But if you mess with something that she don't want you to mess with, oh, she gonna give you that evil eye, honey. She gonna be like, uh, uh, checking you. And that's, that's, that's just straight up like Portia. Yes, it is. That's just like Portia. I can be with Portia, baby. All day if I can sit up there and mess with Kenya more, baby, just smiling and carrying on. Like, girl, don't you get mad at anybody? Girl, don't you see somebody gonna take your food and you just gonna smile? Wow, girl. Now, see, I know Kenya Moore, she, uh, Brooklyn like her mama. She kind of sneaky. Cause did y'all see in one of them pictures when they were sitting together in the chair and Brooklyn was going for her little head wrap? <laughs> I'm like, see that damn Kenya all over again. It's the, the spine that the apple don't fall too far from the tree. I tell you, boy. But anyway, going back to the article, it said, um, I never seen the happiest baby in my life. Bailey said, I love that the fans are going to see Kenya be a mom because it just changes everything. It just changes everything about her dynamic. She's very hands on, to say the least. Well, of course, she's hands on. Who else going to take care of her unless she's going to pay somebody to watch her? Okay, it's cheaper to watch your own child to have somebody else to watch her because you, you can't trust Ian and everybody, all right? And it don't seem like Kenya have a good uh, support system that she could just not overwhelm her aunt and maybe her cousin that's a chef so she, he ain't showed us too many and i don't think the daddy want to be too much bothered with caring for a baby in his uh season age so i don't know you you i think you go a little bit too far Cynthia. but anyway going back to the article it says the actress also admitted to us that she was shocked by more and daily split I think we all were shocked about that because hell, she was barely married. All right. And, and now she, she was talking about, okay, she got she secretly got married. Didn't nobody she didn't want to talk about the man when she came back. Then she uh ended up getting pregnant. And now she wants to show us all about baby Brooklyn. Then that damn she come around talking about she divorced. I'm like, hey, wait a minute. I ain't caught up from when you had said you got married. Okay, I ain't found the documents. I ain't seen the documents of that yet. Not that it really does matter, but I mean, it, it does kind of make you wonder. Just like somebody in your family member and your family and one of your members of your family, you know, someone they married. But then you're like, where this person come from? Hell, they just came here two weeks ago. And you're talking about you married, just that and that. You know, we get all up in the Kool-Aid. And since we're all family, you know, some of us like Kenya, some of us don't. Some of us like Nene, some of us don't. We all family, we're going to talk shit. You know, we are, especially when you're doing something foul, but that don't mean we don't love you. But I'm like, give us the tea, give us the truth, give us the coffee with the shrimp, cream and sugar, okay? So we can digest this mess and move on appropriately. But uh, going back to the article, it said, um, let's see, where did I break off at? Okay, she said she was shocked, just just like the rest of America that loves Real Housewives of Atlanta. We, too, were shocked. We were bamboozled and baffled about these upcoming events that Kenya took us through. Okay, uh, going back to the article, it said, I knew there were some issues. I'm not going to lie about that. She said she shared a lot with me, but I didn't think it was anything that couldn't be fixed. I just was really rooting for them, especially since they have this new beautiful daughter together. And see, that's what I'm saying, Cynthia. You go back, you, you you don't know what you be saying half the time. You be talking at the side of your neck. First, you were saying they don't have to be co-parenting and, and be together to raise their daughter. Now you're saying, you put the baby girl up in there saying, well, for the baby girl, they at least should try. Hell no, nah, you don't supposed to try for no kids. You supposed to try for yourself. Can you see this self? Uh, can you see yourself with this person? Is this person worth spending the rest of your life? These are the questions you should have been asking yourself prior to getting married. But again, hindsight we got to do it the other way we got to do it the reverse way so now people should stay together talking for some kids the kids don't care they gonna they gonna uh, say they ain't having a happy childhood anyway when they get up and could have had the best childhood it was but they're gonna find something that you didn't let them do or you were disagreement 
in a disagreement with them that they're going to hold on to until they get out on their own. Then they're going to throw the shit back up in your face later on down the road when you least expect it. Now, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, call a file when it's happening. Don't call a file four, or five, six, seven years later. Okay. And think I'm supposed to have something to say about it. Okay. I probably have the same stance that I had when I was trying to tell you not to do what you're trying to do out there because it's consequence. Every time it's a reaction, whether it's negative, positive, or indifferent, it's going to be a consequence to that action. Okay, just be ready to handle it. But anyway, going back to the article, it said, uh, I just really was rooting for them and this, that, and the third. Uh, however, I'm seeing Kenya and nobody's in your bedroom with your man but you. I want her to be happy because I know what it feels like to be in something and not have peace. That's it. I'm talking about peace, peace, be still, okay? So if she didn't have peace with Mark before the baby, she didn't have peace with Mark during the baby, after the baby, how the hell is she going to have peace now, Cynthia? You still want her to be in that mess that's not peace-oriented? Girl, you call yourself a friend? I don't know. You ain't a friend. It seems like you're a foe right now. Sitting up here and talking to U.S. Week, uh, Weekly without anybody's permission, okay? And speak on things you probably don't know too much about. You just assume it just like the rest of us. But ain't no way in the world I'm going to speak on my cast member unless they tell me. All right, unless I don't like it from the beginning, then it really doesn't matter. But you're saying you like Kenya. You love Kenya. You down like four flat ties for Kenya. But, okay, moving on back to the article. It says, uh, earlier this month, a source revealed to U.S. Weekly that Daly was unfaithful. Mark has had multiple affairs on Kenya. The insider added at the time she walked away from her career. And there you go again. So that's what I'm saying. Women have options, okay? You don't have to sit and walk away from nothing. If it's your bread and butter, if the brother knew you were, oh, uh, or, you know, if it's a gay on gay or lesbian on lesbian situation, if your partner knew this is where you got down, this is how you got your money, they should be solidified, <coughs> excuse me, in that selection of a choice of career of making that moolah. You, you see what I'm saying? If it's going to infringe on any any of those things, then you need to pump your brakes. Cause ain't them going too much change if y'all don't got married and became one or supposedly became one. So why would you have to walk away from anything, okay? You bring it to the table. You bring it to the house, all right? You're making me think, Kenya, you brought the whole damn house and the condo and the cars, okay? Because what I'm hearing, the streets are saying that you got him out of his debt, his tax lien, all right? But that's just a, a here nor there. That's just a alleged thing going on. We don't know unless you want to come and get confirmation on it, but it just is what it is. That's what I'm hearing, okay? But, uh, you know, this gone refurbished mess. I mean, she left everything to be with him. But you should, because if did he leave everything to be with you, it should be a 50 50. Y'all should be one mind, one body, okay? One way of thinking. But evidently, that wasn't the case, because we wouldn't be where we are now in limbo, all right? Because I still hadn't seen no wedding, no, uh, well, we, yeah, we didn't see no wedding. We didn't see no production of no wedding certificate. And we have yet to see anything of a divorce uh, decree being put on paper. So I think it's all a bunch of mess. And I'm trying to sift through it just like y'all are too. Okay. We ain't got two doctors saying that she's missing somebody. And we don't see nothing to the fact that she's not going to be missing somebody. Because, damn, I don't even... I, I don't I, I'm just really lost. So y'all get down in the comments and tell me what y'all think about this uh, mess. Because what Cynthia Bailey doing, she just made it even more messy. Okay? She didn't give no truth, no light to anything. But just saying, oh, she may still love her husband. I'm pretty sure she may do. But if she want to go back and be in that damaging type of atmosphere, that environment to raise Brooklyn in, she won't be happy for long. She's going to go up there hollering and crying. And then what y'all going to be doing now? Looking at each other saying we shouldn't have got back together. We should have went on and divorced. Well, like I said, we still speculating on whether you were married. So it just is what it is. All right. Just throw papers up in the air and be frustrated <laughs> about the whole situation. But that's all I have for this video. Get down in the comments. Tell me what y'all thought of what Cynthia said to U.S. Uh, Weekly. Giving her a little impromptu on the outside looking in on somebody else's situation okay and uh definitely continue to subscribe to my channel if you haven't thought uh haven't done so already think about it <coughs> it's the best decision you would have made for all your celebrity entertainment gossip news okay 
Um, all of it allegedly, of course, we don't know, but we think the source that we're getting it from, which is myself, uh, leaning on the understanding of my sources are credible, then, you know, we could say 99.9% .9 that other percentage could be speculation of non-truth, you know, we want it to be true or we don't want it to be true, but it just is what it is, it's going to come out in the watch anyway. Sooner or later, everything that's done in the dark will follow to the light, okay? But y'all be blessed. Y'all have a nice evening. Y'all might catch another video coming from me to you. Hit that bell for notifications so you'll know when I drop that next video. Other than that, continue to subscribe, like, and share my videos, and I will see you next video. Bye-bye.